Hello all, welcome to yet another video focusing on the latest announcements on our portfolio. With iOS XR761, we have brought in a number of features related to hardware and software to cater various customer use cases. In this video, we will highlight the improvement on data plane protection with respect to access lists. With the help of short demos, we will understand the feature in details. My name is Tejas Lard and I am a technical marketing engineer in the Cisco MIGBU. So what's new in iOS XR761 with respect to ACL? We have increased the ACL support in the ingress direction. We will now support ACL chaining along with ABF. We have enabled ingress interface logging on the ACE and we have introduced ACL based policy. Let us look into each features in details. We will first start with ingress ACL. Prior to iOS XR761, NCS 5500 portfolio supported a maximum of 127 different ingress traditional ACLs and 255 hybrid ACLs per LC in shared mode. With iOS XR761, we have increased the scale to support a maximum of 512 ingress traditional ACLs and 1000 hybrid ACLs per LC in ingress direction. With the increased ingress ACL scales, customers can enhance their traffic filtering capabilities. This feature is supported only on the platforms with newer generation chipsets with or without external TCAM. The second feature is ACL chaining with ABF. Prior to iOS XR761, ACL chaining and ABF were mutually exclusive features. But now we can enable ABF along with ACL chaining. For a deeper understanding of ACL chaining and ABF, please visit our article in XRDocs where we have covered the feature in details. This particular feature is supported on all the variants of the platforms with and without external TK. The third feature is about improvement in log readability. NCS 5500 portfolio already supported logging messages about packets being permitted or denied by an IP access list. That is, whenever a packet matches a criteria, the router generates an informational log message about that packet. For example, we have an access list with log keyword in the ACE. When a packet matches the ACE, we used to see the following syslogs. With iOS XR761, we have brought another level of improvement in terms of log readability. With the optional keyword log input, we can get the interface details as well. This gives the network admins more flexibility during debugging and understanding the log messages. It is supported with both permit and deny criteria. This feature is supported across all the platform variants. The final feature we will talk about is ACL based policing. Prior to this feature, ACLs would either permit or deny packets based on the matching criteria. But with the help of this feature, we have introduced policing along with the permit criteria. Let us verify this feature with the help of a short demo. We have an ACL with policing action in the ACE. We have applied it on the interface in the ingress direction. This particular feature is supported only in the ingress direction. Let us verify the interface stats. We are sending around 1 gig of traffic. We can verify that on the ingress interface. As per our policer action, we are seeing only 500 Mbps in the output direction. We can check via the CLI command that some packets are allowed and some are getting dropped. We can also verify from Ixia the transmit and the receive rate. We can see that 
50% of traffic is getting dropped and we have 500 Mbps as the received rate. So we can see that this feature eliminates the usage of QS policy for a simple criteria like policing. This can now be achieved with the ACL itself. This feature is supported only on the platforms with newer generation chipset and external TCAM and operating in the native mode. So this was all about the enhancements of access list in iOS XR761 with respect to NCS 5500 and 5700 portfolio. For further deep dive on all the features, please visit our XR Docs article in which we have covered the support metrics as well as the feature implementation. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.